Hello everybody, in this video I am hoping to show you how to export measures from Power BI to Microsoft Excel using a free application called DAX Studio. Um, in my example over here you can see I was building an income statement. Um, every single line on this income statement needs its own measure um, and there are then various scenarios, you've got actual, prior year, budget, we can sometimes have different budgets, we sometimes have a forecast, etc. Um, and as you can see, it's a lot of measures to write. I have to write all 28 rows over here and then repeat it for each scenario, especially since, for example, if you look here in my measures groups on the right, um, we can see that the formula or the, the measure for the revenue actual is identical to the formula which I'm using for budget, except that the call it the base measure or the aggregator measure is different. So what I found as a really useful tool is to export these measures, you know, do the measures once, for example, for the actual scenario, then export it to Excel, then use a find and replace to just replace that word actual with the word budget, and then you can copy and paste it back into Power BI and it can save a lot of time. The way to export the measures to Excel is as follows. You go to the website, uh, daxstudio.org, uh, click the download button or the installer button, it downloads, it takes a few seconds. Follow the prompts, uh, just accept and say finish. Thereafter, let's run, let's open the application, Dex Studio. Now what happens if you've got your Power BI model open, which uh, as you can see I do, when you open Dex Studio it actually recognizes that you've got your Power BI model open and it gives you the option to connect the DAX Studio to that module. So I'm going to, to that model, I'm going to go ahead and connect it. Um, you can then see it lists all the tables on the left of here. Now I'm far from a, an expert in DAX Studio, in fact I've hardly used it at all, um, but just this one little time server for me is, is a massive, uh, is really a huge time saving and it's, it's gold. Uh, so you come here to DMV, you then scroll down to a table called MD Schema Measures, double click on that, gives you a little select statement and you click run. You then have your results at the bottom, click inside there, push control A uh, to select all, then control C or right click and say copy. Uh, you then, that allows you to then come and paste it, control V into Excel. I then like to just unwrap the text and unmerge and center. And these are all my measures over here. It takes a little bit of time just to get a sense of exactly what information is in which column, but we can see, for example, that the, the table or the measure grouping is in column S. Um, that's over here. So I'm going to go to my admin measures, income statement, net movement, actual. Um, I'm going to filter by that table. We can then see we've got the name of the measure over here, and we have the actual measure itself or the actual formula here in column N. So I'm then going to use a little Excel formula to concatenate it and get it into, into one cell. So equals concatenate or concat. Get the name of the measure. Put a space, an equal sign and a space. And then get the actual formula. Okay, I'm going to copy, copy this down. So now we've got all of my measures for my actual scenario. I'm just going to copy this and paste it into a new book. Oh, oopsie, go to paste values. So let's just right click and paste values. And what I can now do is I can actually come in, as I said, you know, modify my formulas as I'd like. So in this situation, I want to change it. I want to do a find and replace and find all any A with a space and then a dash. I want to replace that with a B to represent budget with a space and a dash. All of my formulas on the left here to B. Uh, we're then going to do the same thing because just the way my measures have I've done it, I've got that actual in the middle. I'm going to find the word actual and replace it with budget. Control F. I'm going to replace my actual, replace it with budget. Replaced all over there. And then it's just a simple case of copy each of these measures and paste them. As we know, just you know, add a, add a new measure and uh, come and paste it into Power BI. 
Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. If you've got any comments or questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you've got any suggestions of how I can do stuff quicker, because I'm also learning, I'd really appreciate that. Um, otherwise, thanks for taking the time to watch this video, and let's get it done.